Hi guys, this is Eli with Eli Bricks, bringing you a Lego one thousand four hundred dollars haul. All right, let's go ahead and get it started. First off, this was part of a Lego VIP double points promotion that was running at Lego stores and also at Lego.com, and I just couldn't resist buying all of this. In this video, I will show you a complete overview of my purchase so let's go ahead and dive in into the sets so this Lego haul was initially split in three different orders this one being the first one so let's go ahead and talk about this one this is the Disney castle it's set number 71040 and it comes with 4080 incredible pieces it also comes with five minifigures shown over here Daisy Duck, Donald Duck, Minnie, Mickey and Tinkerbell so amazing minifigures in an amazing Lego Disney Castle set. Now moving along over here, we have also a second Disney Castle set. The purpose of me buying this Disney, Disney Castle was because of my daughter's second upcoming birthday. So I do have also plans in the future for this both. Now, when I purchased this too, I got the double VIP for both of them. But also, I got this other gift with purchase set. And this is the Lego Creator 3-in-1 set number 40562 Mystic Witch. Which, of course, this one, it's a 3-in-1 set, meaning that you're able to build three different things out of one set. So I really like this set because of the fact that it was, of course, free. The second order over here is about just Lego Star Wars alone. So this one, it's going to be this amazing Lego Star Wars set. It's set number 75316, the Mandalorian Starfighter, and it comes with 544 pieces. It has such an amazing minifigure selection over here, as well as a really cool spaceship. Now this set is expected to be retiring by the end of 2022, but I couldn't resist on buying this because I don't want this set to be gone before I get it. So of course I had to get it. I think that this set should be retiring before even 2022 by around the beginning of December to mid of December. So this is a must have for every Lego Star Wars fan. Now moving along over here, we also have another one of the same one. I want it simply to the fact that when, since I'm a Lego collector, I like opening one and building it and the other one I like having it just intact I just want to have it on display the way that it is so I couldn't pass on this amazing promotion of course so it's two of them right here now the next set that I got with this second order is this really cool set it's the Bad Batch Attack Shuttle it's one that I don't have at all and I needed to have it. Why? Because mostly I want to build it. Later on, I might buy just another one for the same reason as this one over here. But it has such an amazing minifigure selection as well. This one expecting to retire also in 2022, on the end of 2022. So I think this was the best timing for me to buy it, definitely. This is set number 75314, and it has 969 pieces. Now, moving along over here, since I bought these three sets in this second order, I got two different gift with purchases. The first one over here being the Lego VIP, Lego set number 40513, the Spooky VIP add-on pack. This comes with basically pumpkins as well as skeletons and some kind of other things which are spooky for the Halloween season. Of course, this was bought right when it was October. So since I bought the 50 or more, I got this one for free. Now, on top of this one, I also got this one as the gift with purchase, a second one. This would be the Ray the Castaway. It's such a cool set. And basically, it's set number 40566, comes with 239 pieces. I believe this is really cool set 
because of the fact that I can't wait to actually build it. And of course, I wanted to have a second one for this one as well, but we'll see what happens towards the end. The third order placed in this amazing Lego haul, we have over here, this such a cool Scout Trooper helmet. I really needed this one. I really wanted this one. I just wanted to build it so bad and here it is. Now taking advantage of the double points of course and the gift with purchases, I have it to build now. And as I've been telling you before, I like having always a second one for all of them or most of them. So this one is going to be mostly to have it kept in just display condition. The last one in the little bags, it's going to be the LEGO Star Wars set number 75283, the Arbor Assault Tank AAT. This is one set that y'all LEGO Star Wars fans gotta have. Why? Because this is also retiring very soon and I think it's even gonna retire before the end of 2020. Over here on this side, this really cool set. It's the Elf Clubhouse. This is a set that I'm looking forward to buy and to get into build, definitely, especially because of the holiday seasons. Holidays are just around the corner. I had to get one to build it. Also, my wife really likes the holiday seasons and really wanted this one. So here it is, taking advantage of those double points, of course. And this is set number, as you can see, it's set number 10275, and it comes with 1,197 pieces, and it retails for $100. So it's a really nice keep, and also, it's already retired from Lego stores and Lego.com. So very few retail, retailers out there have it at this moment. The second one, had to be another duplicate of course for display reasons like I've been saying and of course you never know this might be worth it to build like let's say a holiday city or anything like that so I just wanted to have a second one just to use it like I said for display or maybe to build a holiday city over here we got this really cool set this one mostly I wanted to display just the way that it is on the box. This one is going to be the set number 75955. It's the Howard Express. And this isn't the big one that we've been seeing lately, the newest one, let's say, which is the UCS. This is actually the smaller version of it. But I'm pretty happy with this one. And I look forward to just have it on this display, like I said. We still haven't finished with this Lego haul. We're about to finish, but let me show you this other Harry Potter set. It's kind of like part of the new wave, not the newest one, but one of the newest waves. It's actually newer than this other one, the Howard's Express. But as you can see over here, it comes with some Lego Harry Potter 20 years limited edition minifigures, which they are going to be gold. I'm looking forward to collect all of them, let's say. Right now I have a few of them, but I just wanted to have this one especially because of this minifigure right here. Set number 76395, and it's the Howard's first flying lesson. It looks really nice, like I said, mostly because of this figure and also because of this other figure over here that looks like a statue. This statue over here would be really nice for my upcoming LEGO City that I'm planning to do. So stay tuned for that LEGO City that I will be doing and creating. Moving along over here, we have this other Harry Potter set. And this is part of this wave over here, as we were seeing. But this one is going to be a smaller set. It's the set number 76386. It's Howard's Polyjuice Potion Mistake. This is a cool set, especially because of those sticker sheets over here, or stickers, that are supposed to represent the mirrors. Uh, they're stickers, and they actually do look like mirrors. So I really like those stickers. Now, 
Also, it comes with the Harry Potter 20 years anniversary golden minifigure, which is one minifigure that I don't have yet and I want to have. Lastly, the two other ones gift with purchase that I got because of buying this third order would be the Spooky VIP add-on pack, the same one that I had mentioned before. So currently having two of them, pretty happy with those additions. And of course, another one of these ones, which is going to be the Ray the Castaway. This is $1,400 of my Lego haul. And wow, I just can't believe how I purchased so many things at a given time, but I'm happy with this. I'm looking forward to build some of these sets, other ones to keep them in sealed boxes. But just don't forget that uh, this is only the beginning. I will be doing more and more Lego haul videos and also looking forward to build a Lego city. So please guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time, bye.